हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक विच इज सेलेनियम ओके सो बेसिकली दिस विल बी अ सीरीज ऑफ टूटोरियल्स इन विच वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग मैनी थिंग्स लाइक हाउ टू यूज द सेलेनियम एंड अदर स्टफ बट बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सेलेनियम एंड हाउ इट वर्क सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेलेनियम दैट सेलेनियम इज अ फ्री ऑटोमेटेड टेस्टिंग फ्रेमवर्क यूज टू वेलीडेट वेब एप्लीकेशन अक्रॉस डिफरेंट ब्राउजर्स एंड प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो बेसिकली इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड वी आर हैविंग ऑलमोस्ट all the applications which are web based so basically we need some way to test those applications okay and make sure that everything is working fine or not in order to test those applications selenium is here okay so basically what it does is it provides us a automated way by which we can communicate with the browser so like uh, whenever we want to perform some action let's say click a button or some uh, find some element then we can write a script for it um, in like the, it supports also multiple languages so we can write uh, some test script and on the basis of command it perform the action on the browser okay and you can use multiple programming languages like java c sharp python etc so selenium also supports a wide range of uh, programming languages also uh, in order to work with the automation now let us see how selenium works okay the selenium architecture but before moving to the selenium architecture let's discuss about json wire protocol okay so basically all the web driver commands which we trigger through the automation and whatever we communicates with the browsers it use one common wire protocol okay so like uh to communicate with the browser we need some way so json wire protocol is a way through that we can communicate with the browser okay and this protocol is restful service and all the communications happens in json format over json wire protocol so there are lot of apis which are used to uh, communicate with the browser so this is uh, the official github link of json wire protocol let us see what they are providing in there so guys this is a, a json wire protocol github link in which they uh, have provided lot of information about how the things are working and uh, how everything is happening into the selenium so uh, before moving to the selenium uh, you need to look at it. it it's it's a very good document in which uh, many things are written so i am searching this the command reference so here are lot of http methods so as i was uh, saying that it selenium communicates with the web driver over json wire protocol and uh, through the apis so these are uh, like basic apis which provided by this json wire protocol uh, so that we can communicate with the browser so like see this is the session so whenever we create a new session then it's a post call okay the post call and then uh, if we delete like let's say quit the browser then it uh, delete the session or we can say it close the session and then if we want to wait uh, then this is the particular api so everything is happening in there through the api if we want to take a screenshot then here is this uh, screenshot api which is a get api okay and then if we want to uh, get the cookies or uh, like if we want to search some element then this is the element post uh, call which performed so this is a very good document uh, it will be very helpful if you uh, go through this document once and get the idea what is happening so this is the github link and then like uh, there is a the blue 3 c specification also in which also they have provided documentation about all the apis and what are the response codes we uh get through it okay so let's say like we are having this get window handle to handle the window then uh to maximize the window they have provided like uh this is the method uh, this is the api the session window maximize and it's a post call so there are couple of uh methods and couple of apis which uh we will be going to use but th this is happening in backend only we will the uh, writing the scripts and all the things are managed by the json wire protocol and uh like there are some response status also like response status codes also uh in the this json wire protocol uh, and these are the uh, some exception like no such driver exception it uh, returns a code say then stale element reference uh, exception it is the 10 
uh, code then element not visible it will be the 11 so this is how uh, the uh, json wire protocol uh, communicates with the browser and uh, returns the response okay and we can uh, catch these exceptions and work with all these things okay so guys like this is a uh, very important document you can go through it and then get the idea what's happening in it okay so as we have understood that what is this json wire protocol now we are ready to understand the selenium architecture so this is the basic selenium architecture and here is one uh, a simple diagram in which we will be learning how uh, the selenium is working internally okay so as i have told you that uh, we write the test scripts using selenium and uh, we can use multiple languages for that uh, java c sharp python ruby and many other languages so we write some commands uh, to perform on the browser and these commands like whatever action we uh, write uh, in our test scripts these communicates with the browser using json wire protocol okay and what json wire protocol does is it simply uh, makes some apis call with the uh, drivers okay the browser drivers and uh, these particular drivers communicate with the uh, browsers to perform some actions okay so like uh, as i've told you that selenium supports lot of uh, browsers so each browser provides their drivers let's say for chrome browser there is a chrome driver then for firefox browser there is a gecko driver then for internet explorer there is a ie driver for safari uh, for mac it is the safari driver so we simply uh, makes the apis calls uh, through this json wire protocol okay then json wire protocol uh simply communicates with the chrome driver uh, okay this particular driver and then these drivers are performing actions on these browsers whatever we like let's say we want to perform some click operation so we write uh, the code to perform this command then it will uh, make some api call uh, and then it will communicate uh, with the chrome uh, let's say we are working with the chrome then it will communicate with the chrome driver and chrome driver is responsible for performing certain action whatever command we provide to it okay so guys this is a simple selenium architecture and as i've told you that it's asked in the interview uh, very often so you can simply draw this diagram whenever they ask about the selenium architecture and that is more than enough like uh, this will make sense that how selenium is working okay so guys that's it for this tutorial and in our next tutorial we will be discussing how we can install the selenium and how we can work with the selenium how we can write the test scripts using selenium okay so for now thank you